Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Adore CEO reveals why she visited the shaman. Min Heejin's accusations against Hybe was Min Heejin's friendship with V. Hybe responds to accusations and Erm announces new album during a press conference at the Korea Conference Center in Seoul on Thursday. Adore CEO Min Hee Jin firmly addressed accusations from Hybe, the parent company of partaking in shamanistic management practices. Before this event, Hybe had stated that an audit revealed, Min was seeking managerial advice from a shaman regarding critical company operations, including staffing and hiring processes. The accusations drew significant attention, particularly the claims that Min had sought the shaman's counsel on issues as critical as the military service of BTS members. It was alleged that the shaman had recommended sending BTS to the military, stating it would be beneficial for her if BTS were not active. The press event served as Min's effort to clarify these issues and counter what she considers to be unfounded accusations from Hybe, hinting at a growing rift between the leadership of these major entertainment entities. At the press conference, Min provided a personal rationale for her inquiries concerning the military enlistment of BTS. She explained that her questions were driven by a protective concern for new genes, akin to a mother's worry for her children. She expressed frustration with how Hybe was treating her and pondered if it might be advantageous for them if BTS, Hybe's leading group, were temporarily inactive. She denied that her decisions were swayed by shamanistic advice. Hybe, which not only represents BTS but also owns Otter, the agency managing new genes, was criticized by Min for revealing the results of a forensic analysis of her messenger conversations, which she described as an invasion of her privacy. Min defended her relationship with the shaman, explaining that the individual was a personal friend and challenging the notion that befriending a shaman was inappropriate. She questioned the stigma around shamans, asking rhetorically whether it was wrong to have one as a friend. Furthermore, Min clarified the nature of her visits to the shaman, emphasizing that they were not for fortune-telling but for emotional support. She mentioned that due to stress caused by Hybe, she had been consulting a psychiatrist, which had not been effective. Seeking comfort, she turned to her shaman friend for conversations to alleviate her discomfort. Min also suggested that Hybe might be projecting their own behaviors onto her, accusing them of engaging in similar spiritual practices. She implied that their accusations stemmed from their own involvement in rituals and fortune-telling activities. Min Hee Jin has also reported experiencing a series of unjust demands from Hybe, particularly during the group's debut phase. These claims coincided with Hybe filing a police report against her for breach of trust. Min explained that she faced continuous mistreatment from Hybe while she was setting up new genes. She noted that she started the preparations before the pandemic, taking on the role of creative producer while Hybe chairman Bang Si Hyuk was involved as the music producer and Hybe's subsidiary, Source Music was appointed to manage the new group, she invested significant effort into selecting members for what would eventually be known as New Genes. However, she was suddenly told to change her plans. Hybe CEO Park Ji Won informed her that the first girl group under Hybe should be Lee Zerafim, who joined Hybe in 2022. Min expressed her frustration over this decision, highlighting the impact on the members of New Genes whom she had committed to support. She indicated that Hybe disregarded her concerns, telling her that it was none of her concern. Following this, she was compelled to create a subsidiary label, a door to carry on with the New Genes project. She also mentioned receiving directives from Park to delay promoting new genes until after La Seraphim's debut. She was told to present herself as if she had been involved in producing La Seraphim, a strategy she found absurd, suggesting that it was likely a tactic devised by Bong to mislead the public into believing La Seraphim was under her management. Following the success of New Genes songs on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, Min shared that Bong, who had not been in touch since their disagreement, sent her messages with dubious intentions. 
Screenshots shared by Min showed a message from Bong commenting on her enjoyment of the situation, to which she responded with a dismissive laugh. Additionally, Min addressed Hybe's allegations that she was trying to seize control of Adore's management. She clarified that she sought advice from a friend who was a venture capitalist rather than external consultants, as Hybe had implied. She challenged Hybe to produce evidence of any inappropriate discussions or meetings, asserting that such discussions never occurred. Min also responded to claims that she was coached on management by a female shaman, suggesting Hybe brought up the topic because their other accusations were failing to stick. In her concluding remarks, Min maintained that dismissing a CEO who enhances shareholder value and sabotaging a subsidiary both constituted breaches of trust and actions against shareholders' interests justified dismissal. Min Hee Jin strongly reiterated her denial of claims that she and her aides had attempted to take over control of the company from Hybe. During an interview with a local CB's radio station, Min highlighted the restrictions imposed by the ownership structure where Hybe owns an 80% stake in a door, significantly limiting her decision-making capabilities. She emphasized that any major decisions require the approval of Hybe due to its majority stake. Everyone, that was for today's video. What do you think? Write in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself and goodbye.